This is the tale thus far. Death traveled on and still found corruption. The Light and the Hellguard both lost. But Arafel's wisdom shone bright in the darkness and cleared the way forward for all. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Yeah. Ah! Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Welcome to Helian's Hub. I'm Helian, and along with... Look here! And welcome back to Darksiders 2, the Definitive, yeah, definitive Edition. Yeah, that, that almost makes me choke trying to say that every time. Uh, let's see, last time we finished off the dungeon in the... I'm still unsure if it's the White City of this world, basically heaven. Or if it's just another outpost of it, because it is called the uh, Citadel. And citadels typically tend to be, like, the biggest oop, city in it. Okay, that was a sudden little halt there. Uh-oh, oh wait, um, screecher, please? Yeah. And I'm back to forgetting at least one thing every time now, huh? I should put in something extra on the list of to-dos, so I can forget that instead. But, uh, yeah. We also learned that uh, the Archon was a lying son of a bitch. And yeah, he was the first one to get corrupted and start shit in the city. Again, if it is the White City, because I'm not, they're not, they're being a bit vague on it if it is this White City or not. 
Uh, let's check the map. And again, the first time, every time I press the, the menu button instead of this one. Let's see. Yeah, it's called the Ivory Citadel. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still a bit mixed on it. But, yeah, now that we know that the Archon is corrupted and he has the key, we, when he said... I think he said it was locked away at the Citadel, which is why we went there. But yeah, yeah. since he has it, we have to go kick his ass now. Yeah, it kind of makes sense for the... It was meant to be in this outpost. For safety. Yeah. Only instead, it was the very first place to get infected. Because that's what the corruption is, an infection. And from the Archon, it spread to the others. And actually, if... Uh, that one. If I fast travel to that one... This, I think this should put us outside so we don't have to go climbing all the way up again. Okay, yeah. I, I was fearing that last time, if we went here, it would put us too close to the Archon. And we'll start a fight, like now. Wanted me to. I couldn't destroy the key. Surely you understand, Horseman. I did what I had to do. Open the well. Protected the key. From the questions they asked. And from you. Only I may bear the key. May the light of all that is holy destroy you! Yeah, here we go. But, oh, I, I'm a bit confused by that uh, cutscene. That he opened up the well and... Okay, people are starting the fireworks early. So they opened the well, then sealed it off again? Or did they try to get him to open it? I, there's a bit missing there, I think, that I don't have the mind to fill in at the moment. Because, yeah, I'm getting kind of my ass kicked here because we gave this guy an overpowered stick. <laughs> okay. Oh, so it's not that people! Then this is our boss being put here. It's still uh, sandwich. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, we, we totally should make an emote of you at some point. <laughs> Just having a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that probably I'm a yeah, more of something in the sandwich then. <laughs> Uh, you, you're probably going to end up, or you might end up like a uh, honeydew from York's cast with his Jaffa cakes. His what? The uh, Jaffa cakes. Not like the uh, Stargate <laughs> Jaffas. But like the. Uh, don't actually, I think it's a sort of. Actually, I don't know what sort of type, what it's type of Jaffa that is, or some sort of coffee cake or something. I don't know, I just looked that up. Okay, I think I accidentally dodged whatever that was. Okay. You gotta say, this guy so... This guy so far is the most... competent. Uh, okay, did not dodge. The oh. most competent corrupted so far. Because, yeah, he managed to hide it. And thus managed to trick us. If, if he'd done a better job at that, I did, like I should do a better job at just 
dodging all of this. Yeah, he could have been a much bigger threat. Yeah, I guess he's been pulling things for longer than a moment. And he's... What would he do for the drop that he's going to take over? Nope, wrong time. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's one way to try and get him out of his <laughs> off of his high horse. Still, he has two left. <laughs> they look a bit small on him like that. <laughs> okay, that was basically a back off move. Can't dodge straight through him. I'll probably have to use the teleport slash for that. Pardon? Charging can be a bit annoying because of the close camera. If you you can accidentally end up uh, flipping side or dodging sideways instead of backwards. has happened a few times as well, I think. Two, three, get close. Oh, the teleport slash. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, now he... <laughs> now he has a pair of new wings. stop slow my buttons at least with that <laughs> not sure if it actually does more damage to go slow with that or not okay we are getting close to finishing mob though oh. Okay, we we do have this though, unless he has one last trick up his uh, rather filthy sleeves. <laughs> oh, one more dash. And where it barely <laughs> A bit too late on that. Okay, he's going to go for those. One, two. Three. Come on.
Okay, new campaign on Google's tomb. And achievement clipped wings. Okay, this was not the reward I expected from this. <clears throat> that reward doesn't fit, but we didn't clip his wing. Uh, that way, we did clip some of his wings. Yeah. Let's see. New campaign, Argyll's tomb. Betrayed by the Lord of Bones, Argyll was overthrown from his kingdom. His realm was cast from the kingdom of the dead, separating him from his source of power. His location has remained lost until now. Access this content from additional campaigns in the me menu. I, 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 oh, and the angel key. Okay, yeah. We need the other half still. Okay, stains of heresy and return to crow father yeah <laughs> that was uh, quite a fight even if uh, my strategy with it was a bit one note <laughs> okay uh, let's see does will uh i forgot i forgotten the <laughs> will our angel merchant have anything to say about this Nathaniel? Uh, yeah, I think I think that was his name. I'm pretty sure that what is his name, Nathaniel. Uh, Nathaniel. Okay, we'll see in a second here. No, I don't. Okay, for a moment I thought one of the cats was scratching at the floor, but no. I've decided there is more I could sell you. Okay, he apparently doesn't care much that uh, his superior was just. Cut down and thrown into the abyss. Okay. Not all of heaven is against you. Just enough to be worried. Okay. Maybe, he's, maybe he saw the fight and realized, oh, I've been tricked. Oh well. Okay. Only now notice that there's the earth part here that you so that you could go back there for anything you might have missed. It's a good chance we probably missed. Uh, a few stones or something, and we definitely missed a lot of those uh, captured angels. Yeah, we still need to return to the fortune and to turn in some stones into permanent buffs. Which we'll do right I after have this. The angel key. Then your task nears its end. I can open the way, Death. But you must find the other key. The demon key. Yes. Tread lightly. There is not that way, but shadow. Okay, Kingdom of the Dead. So here we go to trade in all of those stones that we found. Which uh, I have never done before, but it should be for permanent stat increases. Though I don't know how big of the increases will be. And apparently we have something here already, or is... Okay, no, that's... That's pointing to the other gate, okay. Let's see then. Where... He was over here, okay. Uh, what? Yes, I remember this broken star part here. There's still... There's some chests here that I have absolutely no idea of how to get to, because all of the entrances to that place seem to be completely sealed off. Or... At least a non-traversable. Hmm. I'll show it in a second. Right there. As we uh, ignore the wildlife for a bit. Okay. Parades are for you. Where did you find these? Okay. Let's see. Great stones, yeah. Okay, so the blue ones give arcane. Then I'm guessing the red ones give uh, strength. Okay, five per three each. That that is a good. Uh, that's a good enough grade, I'd say. Uh, what if we do one of each? Okay, then we get health. It'd be a bit nicer if we knew this, what we'd get before we hand them in, but still, small little things add up to big things. More. And 
Okay, if we had one more stone, we could trade in another batch there. Okay. Um, we were also going to... We were also going to... Yep. We looked up how the possessed weapon systems works, and it did... Yeah, it's... It is confirmed that a weapon can only have up to four attributes. So it is a bit... It's a bit bad that uh, the one we got from Volgrim already had fire damage on it, I believe. So we can only add three more onto it, I think. Uh, still, we'll have to keep an eye out for weapons with stats that we like to put on it. Like, again, crit chance, crit... Uh, Crit damage and anything to do with lifesteal. Wait, hold on, hold on. Didn't you say we're in that that the element elemental weapon for the best ones? Okay, I was expecting a cutscene there. Uh, no, you you misheard me there. There, there is no elemental rank of weaponry, uh, unless for some reason the elemental effect isn't counted to the four attributes. Welcome to Shadow's End. Now, go as the crow flies, or your brother is lost. This place looks familiar. As well it should. This is the dark reflection of the crystal spire, a realm where demons rather than angels keep watch. But corruption turned their gaze inward, and what they saw there destroyed them. What of the key? It remains within, bound by a powerful master. Okay. I have one Wait, more macro what? key over, so I should probably... <laughs> I should probably tie the uh, controls I use for hiding the camera and muting myself to that to make it a bit more easy than having to press two buttons every time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Go on. I've interrupted you twice now. That's Three right, times. Very... Yeah. Hush. I was just to say, do you know what he said about what happened to the demons? Yeah. Made them look inwards and destroyed them. Yeah, what about that? Makes me wonder, does that mean that most demons that got this evil corruption just simply imploded? I think he means it a bit less <laughs> literal. Or it turned their gaze inward. So, amongst. Probably. I'm guessing the same thing happened as with the Angels of Lost Light and the Citadel, is that they started fighting amongst each other. You sort of would expect that to be already with the real being sense. Yeah. In most media. Demons are usually not fully united. True, but in this case they have um, yeah, the angels as a common enemy. And the common enemy typically does a lot to uh, at least muffle internal conflicts. What have we here behind... Okay, not behind this... See? Obviously for the soul splitter. So what is hidden there? I'm not seeing a chest on the map. And I'm not entirely sure if those should be visible in the open world bits or not. Because there isn't really a, ma a map need for those. Oh, hello. That Relic of Kargoth, an extremely rare relic, each held by one of the High Warlords of the Kargoth Dynasty. So designed of the Ostagoth. Okay, I did not expect... Well, I'd expected some sort of relic, but not a... Hello. Not a high... <laughs> not a, one of that rarity. Crow sites. Shrouded in mystery, much like the Dark Fortress itself. These sites are made of dark presence, capable of draining the energy of those it strikes and transferring it to the wielder. Is this the the sort of the set? Because we have we have a pair of sides now that uh, drain life, one that drains money. Is this the one then that drains? Da -da -da. 
Okay, held steel and wrought steel. I was thinking it would only be for wrath, but no, it's both. Okay. And it's level 22. You possibly say help steel, no, help on hit, just bring help steel. Yeah. Hmm. Mean. Probably of a similar effect, or, or act, but <clears throat> typically what health steel and such does in games is that uh, the percentage is the amount of damage you de deal. Uh, the percentage of that you get back as health. So if we were to do like 100 damage, we would get seven health from that. And Ostagoth. Oh. Okay, and what Welcome the? to the Dark Kingdom, horseman. If you're following me, <laughs> nothing of the sort. I've come to part demons from their coins, and you from their souls. Are we so different? <laughs> I'm looking for a key, but of course. Samael keeps many wonders in the vaults beneath the black stone. I have come to trade for what few he would part with, but I fear not all is well in the red court. Samael would never let his realm slide so far into nothingness. Beware of what you find on Samael's throne and whom. Rumors are all that escape the vortex of a mad queen Lilith who still clings to rule. Lilith, why am I not surprised? Samael was there when I fought the Nephilim. No doubt watching with great interest. The demon Samael plays a game of his own devising. And we are his pawns. I've heard of this place, the Black Stone. Yes, the throne of Samael, the Blood Prince, the Red Wanderer. He has many names, yet one home. Not much left. <sighs> Corruption devours the Black Stone, as it has countless worlds, as it will the Forge Lands, the Undead Plains, even Earth. That is corruption. What does it seek? The end of existence itself. And in its place, nothingness. And how do we fight that? We don't. Your precious balance only serves to stay its hand. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. Content. Yeah, we're going to... Well, we're not going to have to deal with Samael because uh, at around this time he should still be getting rid of a pulsar treatment and being stuck on the ground when... Uh, well, not stuck on the ground anymore, but at least weakened whilst war helps him regain his strength. Yeah, didn't expect to see him again, huh? Or at least get word of him. I was not expecting for us to have to face him as a boss. Yes, I'll make good use of this. <laughs> okay. Health and brass points, okay. Okay, and the engine key. Uh, uh, let's stock up on these again. Okay, that was interesting. We actually got more stat boosts from that. Yeah, it's only small bits, but it certainly does work and help. And here's another of these freaking things. Hmm. Yeah, we probably yeah, should... Actually, we can still go back and check out that door in the Forge Lands to see if that one key that we have is enough, or if yeah, we need four in total. I also just realized, have we killed all the three bounties we, we wanted to do for fame? I'm not sure. We I, we killed a kidnapper, no, and I'm not really sure if there's a way for us to really see where we have these quests. Let's see. I, except for markers, still two abilities missing there. Let's see where 
Where would those be? And we have some skill points left. Okay. Um, let's see. We haven't used this one yet. Mm -hmm. Let's just upgrade the... Let's just upgrade the teleport slash because we've used that the most. Even with how little we do use it. Ah, quest display. Okay. The f oh, Alia has uh, asked to find... Okay, the Hammer's Force, Bither and Vorward. Both of which would be in the uh, Forge Lands. The Post King. Lost Stone. The town. Sword of Orn. Oh, yeah, that's one of... That one is a golem that is, uh, what's a golem or warden that is missing. And uh, lost soul, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Um, who, who want? Who did he want us to bring that scroll to again? Forget. And then there is the collecting things. Oh, I remember. It's uh, the, the ma yeah, the master of blades in the in the kingdom of the dead. Or however it is said. Okay. Yeah, we should probably do some of those before we finish the game. At least the okay. ones we can do. <laughs> um, maybe. I, I'm a bit torn on that because it would divert from the main story a lot. And they are side quests, mostly. But for the moment, let's do take a look if the, that one key is that we have is enough to unlock the the uh, yeah the Simon Says door in the Forest Lands. But beyond that, we will probably be coming back here immediately after that. All right. Uh, let's see. Where was that again? I think it was near the first dungeon. So, let's take a look then. The first dungeon was... Not the Lost Temple, I think. It was neither th that one. Here it was, the Cauldron. And the Chart Pass. It I think it was right next to the cauldron here, so let's take a look. Otherwise, it's further down the path somewhere. Uh, we shouldn't spend too much time on the fast travel. Um, we've had this tutorial quite a long time ago, game. Like eight, uh, eight streams ago. Because this is number nine. Where it was very close to one, so maybe it was close. Hmm. That door was very close to one of the dungeons. So if it's not here, then it's probably near the not yeah, near the lost temple. Closer to the, the snowy area. Oh, there's a chest here that we missed. Might as well take a peek. Here is it. Yep. Okay, we're full on something. Great. Wait. Our inventory is full? Okay, I didn't expect that that would happen. See, does it say anywhere about a maximum capacity oh, or something? I think it's we are full in the weapon inventory for the first time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, I guess we might as well start sacrificing something to the possessed uh, weapons that we got. Let's see. It was this one that we were going to work on. Okay. Upgrades. And specifically go for the big ones. So, let's see. Anything anything that is in green is an upgrade or it, uh, is already on the weapon. Anything in blue or white, uh, that is something that you can add to it by sacrificing it uh, there on it. And yeah, the gray, oh, health per kill. And yeah, the gray ones are not things that will get effect, uh, that not 
will be a, will not be a possible upgrade. Let's see. Inferno damage. Okay. Let's see. We want to look for crits, crit chance, uh, crit chance, crit damage, anything health steal. Or hmm. let's see. Crit damage, but we first want crit chance. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not putting this health on crit on until we have a bunch of <clears throat> crit chance on it already. It doesn't seem that we have anything left uh, with crit chance at the moment. Or, well, we we have this one, but it, that is one of the other big weapons that we have. Or rare weapons. Then again, we haven't used this in a long ass time. Hmm. Actually, let's let's finish feeding this thing first with some of the stuff that we have that we can just throw away. Uh, raw, some crit. Let's keep an eye out that they don't kill. Yeah, that one will be useful as well, probably. First, uh, um... Okay, maybe we should sacrifice these things since, well, we're not using them at all. Uh, crit damage, crit damage, frost damage, piercing damage. Not getting that. Health per kill, no. Wrath on crit is you know, not useful to us. Let's see. King, frost damage, piercing damage. I still don't have a full idea of what that specifically would do. But let's put no, well, let's put the bigger one on there. And that should have cleared up our inventory on those a bit. Okay, there's still a these okay, these legendary ones are <clears throat> taking up a lot of space. Hmm. Okay, but let's leave it at that for the moment. Grab that thing and move on. Oh, and I see a stone there. Okay. If it's not here, then it's probably up here somewhere. So let's just pass. Fast roll unavailable due to combat. Okay, then we'll just move a bit towards it. Or we just do whatever that was. Okay, Boatman coin. Okay, we don't really have a need for that, so let's just leave that as it there. Yeah, let's just leave it there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This is no place for a horse. There it is. I knew it was close to one of these things. Okay. Now the question is, is one enough or do we require three more? Okay, one is... Hello there. Okay. Oh, so it's it's a treasure room. I was more expecting like a, a, a challenge in the tomb or something. Let's see, what is all this then? I saw something purple. That. Oh, a skill point. Okay, I, well, I was say I was thinking, but there was nothing in there. <laughs> And yeah, I read somewhere that destroying weapon racks, well, lets you pick up a weapon that drops, we drops weapons. Okay. No, is, are any of these going to be usable, is the question, or at the very least are they going to have some useful stats? Let's see. Level 20. Health per kill, but not... Oh, okay, that's a good execution chance. <laughs> And here we have normally the third crit damage again. 
Good amount of strengths. Health per kill, Ross per kill. Okay, not too useful. Uh, maybe some good armor then at least. Doesn't look like it. Oh, this one is better. Um, okay, nothing new there. The stuff that we hadn't uh, on <clears throat> hadn't gone over yet. Okay. Hmm. Okay, at least we know now what is behind those, and that we only need one key. So that probably means that there's only 30 pages of the dead in the game, because, or maybe for... Um, maybe 40, depending on if there is one of those doors in the shadow... Was it called the Shadowlands? Four regions, ten pages each, I'm guessing. Maybe? Hmm. But now, let's just continue on with the story and head to the Blackstone. have any fast travel points here yet. yet. Oh, yep. Okay, that's... Uh... Okay, this place is going to be short, <laughs> by the looks of it. And again, we're going to be... Ha we're going to have to deal with uh, probably Samuel's girlfriend, so... Yeah. Or at the very least, one of his mistresses, who claimed the throne in his absence. Since, well, he got stuck on the ground. <laughs> and, yeah, the decor is kind of what you'd expect from a... Well, basically hell. Yeah, but it is weird to not see demons. Yeah. So where the hell are they? Okay. <laughs> Some big ass statues. Do we even want to know what that is? They call it the vortex. I was more thinking like it could be some sort of black hole, but no, it's spitting out things, so it's not. Wait, look up again. Yeah. It's fucking in. Hmm. Okay, so maybe those things are not. Maybe the things getting launched aren't being well launched. Well, there's. It's being thrown. By well, skirting the out, you know, skirting the event horizon or something. Possibly, but it seems to want to turn everything into nothing. from the mingled dust of angel and demon. And from that first Nephilim were not the rest formed. They were brothers to the horsemen. Yet when the riders slaughtered the Nephilim, only you showed remorse. Why did you not cast the amulet into the abyss as the council ordered? Why spare their souls? 
if not to one day undo your sin. My sin? This corruption was born in Absalom. It rises from him like a black tide, and you, mother, must help me stop it. Where is the demon key? In Samael's keeping. But he is gone now, and the key has vanished. Oh, don't worry, my child. Time, like sin, may be undone. With this, you can return to the past. To Samael's stronghold before his fall, and find the demon king. I only ask that when you reach the Well of Souls, you will answer your heart and resurrect the Nephilim. Okay, that's a bit of info. And achievements, tearing time a new one. Phase Walker, an enhanced version of the Void Walker. This item can now tear a void in the present and the past, allowing for time travel. Okay. Concerning? Yeah. And... Also... Yeah, go ahead. She's up to something. Yeah. And there was a second achievement, the Mad Queen. I very much doubt that she has that title because she thinks it's, it's cute. Uh, if she is the mother of the entire Nephilim race, then who is the fa who was the father? Because the father must have been an angel then. Yeah, though she said she used an angel and demon stuff to create them, so they may not be, you know, normal. <laughs> Yeah, there may not be in a, an angel demon mating like uh, happened in the in the Diablo series. Okay, again, why is the Eternal Throne mark here? Why the hell has that been in in the other uh, worlds? Okay. And I'm thinking okay. we're going to be going this one. What the scarabs? Is how we'll be traversing through this place. Hmm. This game isn't the first one to have done stuff like this. Um, I can think of at least. Uh, but, uh, oh, hello, Bojan Coin. I can think of at least a Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages that also had puzzles similar to this, where you have to jump between time. Arrows. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was more shifting between two planes of existence instead of uh, phasing between two uh, time periods. Yes, then. The champion! And, okay. Okay, hello. Does all Samuel demons have upside down wings? Well, we'll have to see after we kick this one's ass. But okay, now we, I know only Joe, yeah, only now just noticed he has a freaking charm in their tail. So, this is what happened if Charmander was a Digimon. Stop or blocking the Oh, hello. Um, okay. How are yours? I don't know if you remember if we saw any demons with wings in Darksiders 1. Yeah, like, they, they think there's a lot of demon group just called the uh, Panthers or something. Is it not much of a true 
demon is so near there. True. All they were saying basically for enslaved and for victim. A good chance of that, yeah. Hmm. I do suspect the Phantom to be a variant of Demon. Uh, it, it, those, those seem to be more like wild demons of sorts. That these might be the, well, the first actually intelligent demons that we're facing in combat. Will you stop freaking blocking you? Yeah, this is a bit more professional train. Like the Phantom, Phantoms were a bit more barbaric. Feral, even. Yeah. But it's still a general perfection. Oh, oh, come on, that's my mistake to, <laughs> to pull a scorpion. Okay, these things are dangerous. And they're facing a. throwing a bit too many of them. Okay. We don't, we don't use this enough, so let's just finish this off with it. Really, you're going to call the <laughs> the Avatar of Death's defenses weak? I'm pretty <laughs> sure you have uh, his attack to be more worried about. Let's see, there's two open doors. Or rather, there's yeah. one open... Oh no, that's, that's blocked. Yeah, I have to remember, the one of the things you did face in our game, like, well, the big ones with the big hands and burning hands. Not really sure if I'd call those intelligent, since, well, they blow themselves up to try and kill you. Uh, I mean the one that went the smashing fist and ten wings. Not the one that exploded. Um, drawing a bit of a blank then at the moment as to what that one was. Yeah. Uh... Oh, wait. Now we're already really gonna meet them here, but they were tough as you. And yeah, once again, we're playing this game on easy, and still it's being hard as balls at some points, or at least the enemies are just uh, what bullet, not bullet sponges, damage sponges. Okay. Simply just Prince of Persia our way across. And we'll see where we end up. Oh, hello there. Yeah, it's just this, an over-eager soldier. Yep, and you just reminded me of something. Ubisoft plan to remake the entire uh, Winter Persia series. Okay. That, that's a new one for me. <laughs> not, hmm. If they manage to not screw it up with, uh, well, their typical stuff, uh, like I missed, a, completely misjudged a jump there. <laughs> if, if, if Ubisoft can uh, do that without all of their more... Okay, that's not... I'm just not reaching that. With all of their normal bullshittery that they've been up to recently, then I, def I definitely... Go play those if when they release. Because it, the Prince of Persia trilogy is a good one. It's plain and simple. <laughs> good. Oh, hello. Wait, it's not a trilogy. Uh, I'm I'm thinking of the Sands of Time trilogy. Are you not? Right. Yeah, which games are you? Maybe you could talk about the trilogy, I guess. Yeah, technically, it's a quadrology or whatever the term would be for a four-game series. Since well, there is a four, there is the Forgotten Sands as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, which of the games were you talking not talking about then, or were you also talking about the Sands of Time series? I was basically counting all of them. Okay. Including the very old Pixel one. I think there were two of those. Then there was uh, Prince of Persia 3D. 
which is actually where I got introduced to the series, because I, well, I played a demo of that quite a bit. Uh, not sure if I ever had the full game. And again, I do remember playing a bit in a prison with that, so it's possible that I did have it. Wait, what? Hold off. Correct me if I misunderstand you. You tell me you played Prince of Persia and one in prison? No. <laughs> no. You start off in the prison in Prince oh. of Persia 3D. <laughs> I've never been in the prison. The only, the only interaction I ever had with the police was uh, being stopped at one of those checkpoints where they check for bike, and bike lights and such. Okay. And I have to say, these champions are so tough! Yeah, they're going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Hmm. Remember, like, sure, the, the champions, the generals will be tough in the other game, but here... They are very tough! Let's see. There's some stuff for us to break down here. And the door that can't, we can't open from the... Yep, yep. Yeah, okay, just a soldier. The general's unevolved form, because it also has a freaking charm in their tail. Okay, I saw something blue in there. I do gotta wonder though, if Lilith had... Actually, I probably shouldn't talk of that without the uh, Rakir present to see her eyes. And now we're back to the ruined part. Oh, hello there. Another of these scrolls. Okay, uh, where did I leave the... Here I left it. Okay. E N E N S. Okay. East North East North South. We still need to find this. We. Still oh. Okay, I have no idea what happened there, but I just got... Yeah, OBS just stopped streaming for a moment or so. Still have internet, so what the hell just happened? I didn't touch anything, all I did was lay my controller down against the hand rest here. So where the hell is Gertier gone? Okay. Bit worrying. And let's see. Secondary weapons. Where is that hell steel one? There it is. And Still going to hold back a bit. Actually, let's see. Which of these has the biggest health per crit? Or only eight? Come on. No, that's Wrath. Execution chance. Mm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's put that one. Actually, no, that's a possessed weapon. Okay, but it's one we we don't have a use for anymore, so we might as well. Let's see. Health steal twelve percent. That's a bit less than it actually showed earlier, but I think I think it saw set sixteen. Yeah, I should probably sell a bunch of these if they're not going to be useful for sacrificing. And another scroll added to that. Hmm. So you might as well immediately take a look at that. 
Let's see. Enough. Oh. Pardon for a moment. Uh... My name Jane. Okay, I I need to put in the freaking beer beat button again. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't of importance. Uh, let's see. Where is their gear? Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, the call got dropped. Or actually, no. Wrong. Um, their gear. If you're there, you're muted. Okay. Uh, yeah, that this has nothing to it, so it's just it's just fodder for leveling this thing up. Let's, uh, might as well throw in a few other things at it, speed it up a bit. Um, well, let's throw that at it, just to have the possibility of that upgrade. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but for some reason the, the stream cut off. This means that I'm going to have to stitch this, you know, these recordings together. Hmm. Yeah. So where is he? Uh. Oh, okay. It is all going on an extended vacation to uh, there we go. nowhere. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. You just missed uh, a piece of the scenery taking its leave. Uh, what happened to the stream? Yeah, for some reason, the stream got ended or interrupted or something. It, it didn't try to reconnect on its own, so I have to start up again. But no, no please. Give me a sec. And also, the reason we'll have to walk away is for my little brother came over. Okay. So I had to walk away and turn off the voice. And yes, I heard you as I brought up some things that you wondered, where am I? I'm in order hey. to where I was. I was downstairs, receiving the mic, the headset, the okay. new screen, and a tiny micro Nintendo Microchip memory with 264 gig. Okay. That, that's very early for that terabyte. You ordered that like two, three days ago? Yep, and we were expecting it. To, they said it would arrive the 3rd January, but. Lucky enough to get early. Yep. That's mm, uh, another room that we're going to have to swap between. And yeah, these scarabs just make for easy fodder to get health off of now. What scarabs are those? Demon scarabs? Undead scarabs, okay. And still okay. one gets a nibble in on my ankle. But yeah, we can mostly ignore them except for, well, stealing health from them. Uh, yeah, but now if you people know why I have to walk away and turn off the mic, it sounds well, I don't want people to accidentally shout out my real name or anything like that. Or drown the stream with each other. Um, did I miss anything while I was gone? Uh, not really. Or not so too big at least. Oh, 
come on, demon liches or maelstrom. As long as it doesn't start summoning you know, minions, I'll probably be okay with this. And yeah, I did see that thing spawn in the corner of the seat in the screen. Oh dear. Oh, and I forget. Uh, my brother will come back again tomorrow on the to try out the new things. So, might need your help tomorrow. Okay. Uh, well, well, let's be... Uh, let's, I think we can agree that if you want to test a mic, it's probably good idea to have someone to test it with. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so they're not late. They're not leeches. They're just freaking battle mages. Okay. Ow! Out of the way, Junior. <laughs> yeah, that battle was a bit too hot for you. Uh, I put a bit of upgrades on our possessed weapons, but nothing big. But no, no attributes added to it, at least. Okay, these things make quite a noise when they die. Come on. Okay, that was getting a bit much. Yeah, they not, don't play around. Yeah, they, then again, they are demons, so... <laughs> Demons aren't very worth known to play around. Oh, hello. Okay. I keep whenever I launch things, I always seem to be going in the wrong way and Okay, that was, was a bit simple compared to some of the executions that we've seen. Okay, we've got corruption crystals to deal with, but no shadow bombs in sight. Actually, there they are. Okay. Hmm. This place is going to be a bit of a puzzle then. And I presume this will have to deal something with it. So let's just put up a portal and head back to the other time to see what yeah what that might add for us. <coughs> right. Um, before I forget, pick up reminder. You should probably start doing some proper thing before the final battle. True. Uh, I'm, not really, I'm not really planning on going out to do all of the side quests before we get to that. But oh. maybe for later uh, or something. Like an extra Ooh. stream or video. <laughs> That's not why I'm reminding you, you about that uh, save. Oh uh, yeah, in case of bugs and such. Because there was yeah, something the... on PC Gaming Wiki about something up with the la with the final boss. Yeah, that uh, they has a game-breaking bug. And yeah, it would be good to have a proper save to avoid the bug if possible. Something we also need to avoid is the freaking pits. <laughs> uh, where did that yeah. put us? It put us back up here. Okay, this that's red water is very warm and sticky. And then we fake the water. Hmm. Is it water? I wonder. Is water supposed to burn? Only when it's heated. Okay. <laughs> yes, but I know what lava is. Or is this the lava or magma? Yeah, the difference is mostly pedantic, really. Like, it is lava if it is above the surface, and magma if it is below the surface. And that didn't seem to do anything. 
Okay, why is there the option to get up there then? Yeah, and what are Actually, the undead Arabs here? Yeah, they're scavengers. And, well, the place is basically dead. Let's see. Our portals aren't preserved between these two fate uh, between the two arrows. So that won't help to getting around. Actually, I get the feeling that is going to be an exit point, so might as well charge it up so it doesn't dump us into the lava. Okay, that is closed here. I didn't see a way on the other end to have that lowered, perhaps. Power stone. Okay, what is the trick here then? I think we have to do something in the current time first at least. Freaking annoying sound that those things make. Hmm. Skeletons do make that sound. Not sure though. I... Okay. A bit early of me. Yeah. I love a ball, Hillian. <laughs> the heck is up there that warrants going there in the first place like this? We know. I know that the shadow bombs are up there. In the other time, but I don't see a way of us okay, phasing over in this end. Is there something hidden here? No, there's nothing. Hmm. And if, if we go to the other time, then the portals don't remain. Okay, what am I missing? Good question. And I seem to have to read a uh, up on about scarabs. But we keep seeing them in, in the popular media all the time. But we don't know anything about them. Yeah. Have okay, you ever that... heard of a documentary about scarabs? Okay, so we can either, ha either have the teleport portals or the time portal up, but not both. Okay, what the hell am I missing here? We need to get back there. But... Hello? How long did I... How many times did I move past that already? Uh, you want an honest answer or a kind dishonest answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already know the answer too many times. <laughs> it is correct answer. Come on. Yeah, I don't know you what that we uh, did do one other way. The wrong one, that one. Okay, and the fact that these are more of Samuel personal house guard probably <laughs> oh, come on there's two, there's two of the freaking things okay I got missed completely You first. Or... Is there? Is... Okay, there's only one. Uh, we didn't deal enough damage to kill one of them, so I'm guessing that means that one. Yeah, once that spell is up, it's going to fire on its own. Come on, sit still, you. Take your beating like whatever sort of demon you are. 
fighting in the back? And... Okay, you're just stuck there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with a stylus flip kick, we get a level. Oh, uh, actually didn't spend that point that we got earlier. So let's put that there. Um, good chance as well. All right. Now, how do we... Actually, I know how we're going to deal with this already. We're going to play a bit of a hot potato with this thing. Since we already know what happens if we target one of the other hawks like this, with this. Second time we hear about two potatoes today. <gasps> With that, I mean, I watched a bit of your cost playing one of the older XCOM games. You know, the old pixel ones. Okay, wait, well, something happened there. My computer has stuttered for a second or something. I stuttered too. And it seems to have disconnected uh, my controller. Okay. Scared. Standard. Okay, now it's connected again. Do I still have? Do not. Okay. Okay. Escape works, but nothing else on. No, that works on my keyboard for some reason. How the? Was that you? No, that's not. I'm burnt. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Uh, okay, I... Whatever that was, I can't control this anymore. So, yeah, we're, we're going to need to force restart this. Okay. Our final stream of the year, and we have technical difficulties. Yeah, okay. Um, for what next year we bring? Hopefully not. This is the tale thus far. Here, corruption gives way to nothingness. Here, the past echoes forward. Take this, says the horseman's mother, and you will find my lord. I don't get why his name, his voice gets echoey after like the first sentence. I don't get why they don't have that effect on the entire line of it. Okay. Here we go again. At, at least it ends. Yeah, at least we don't lose out too much from that. Whatever that was. And, and I think. I have no idea what might have caused that. It's the first time I've had it happen. Okay, another Eternal Throne mark. It's the first time that we've had that happen with a game. So, it could be either from my computer itself, or the game that glitched there. Wait, have you, have you had a controller problem before? Mm, not that I can really remember at the moment. No, no, uh, that that was more just an overall stutter in my computer. Not uh, yeah. just with the game. True. Yeah, the other thing had some control problem. It was more for the controller needed to charge or something. Yeah. But yeah, this is probably the first one they actually made entire you, you, uh, your computer screen. Even so I could see it stutter. And I'm guessing it was on the computer's end, most likely. I'll, I'll have to look into whatever might have caused that then. Also. Now that that's done, why the hell did we do want to do that in the first place? Because in the present time, this thing is dangling in the lava. Okay. Why the hell? Why the hell did we want to clear that thing out, anyways? Hmm. Guessing we want to get oh no that's where the entrance is. Hmm. 
There's a time portal there. Okay, maybe that changed something in the present. <laughs> Dust is pointing towards this thing anyways. Let's see. Nope, it's still sunken. Nope. Nope. Actually, that did change something. It was it was tipped over earlier. Now it was uh, yeah, now it now it's actually horizontal. Okay, that's how we get the key and that's how we get out of here. Okay. Oh, we prevented a key from melting in lava. Or yep. sinking the lava. And let's see. If we can get to that, and which we can, from the looks of it, or maybe. Unless there's a block somewhere here. Oh god. I just then remember a random it. horrifying pack of lava. Uh. You have seen Lord of the Rings, correct? Yep. Do you remember when Golem fall into the lava? Yep. That's how you were, it would not happen. Yeah, because it's basically something that a lot of media leaves out is that the lava, magma, whichever, it gives off a lot of uh, toxic gases as well. Yeah, um, and also, if a golem landed in the lava, first he would be, he would be so burning before he hit it, and once he hit this, he would be on top of it, screaming in agony, before, if he even at all sink into it. Yeah, because uh, lava is a, quite a bit thicker than water, so you're not going to sink into it. Let's yeah, see. it's horrifying, and what the heck? Throw boots. The origin of this armor is a mystery that few have even begun to unravel. Some claim that the armor was forged by the mad uh, smith, others uh, by, by the mad smith. There's a there's some space missing there. Others say it once belonged to Crowfather in his youth. Whatever the truth, uh, these boots are forged from a forbidding uh, a forbidding black steel. The crow armor defends his wearer by increasing his ability to regenerate health and wrath energy. As well as increase the maximum pool of wrath. Oh, it's going to be an entire set, a set isn't it? Whatever the truth, this shoulder piece is forced from a forbidding and adorned with a fierce crow's beak. Okay. Yeah, that's an entire set, so let's have a look. How is that thing up? Oh, level 22. <laughs> okay. Gives me the feeling that we might be a bit under leveled again. Probably Actually, because we haven't been doing the side stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I think this is basically telling us to do the side stuff. But I feel like we're probably going to need that armor for the final boss. Actually, no, because it's a, it has a whole lot less defense. So I'm guessing this might be more for a mage build. Hmm. Yeah, it has more arcane than strength, so I'm, I'm guessing that's meant for some for players going for necromancer builds. Which, well, we aren't. And... That spell is off, so we can dodge. Oh, oh, come on, already a new one. Uh, heal. It's kind of bad to get cornered like that. And, okay, yeah. it's pulling those things out really fast. The moment it's done summoning one, it summons another already. Sit your freaking ass still. I need to use another healing item there. Okay, where? There it is. Cut. The hell did it, why the hell did it lock onto that one, which was the furthest away from me? 
Wait, is this the first time we actually have the damn blocking lock -in problem we had in the first game? Uh, the enemies keep blocking. And, okay, that dealt a lot of damage. I'm already I mean, out of freaking health potion. I mean, locking on, like, off the lock. Okay, uh... Not sure. Uh, okay, I'm I'm moving to this. Just get the fuck over here, you. Get over here. This will give you a little bit of a change. Yes, here you. Yeah, we definitely need more health here, or at the very least, dodge better. Still getting a good amount of health back from attacking, at the very least. Oh. Is this lead? This should lead us back to the main room. Here, open up this shortcut. It's a bit obvious we're telling us where to go, game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could have figured that out. I'm just looking around on our own. Actually, we can't get... Oh, hello there. Can't get up there yet. Just go ahead. Maybe this. Okay. Maybe with this we can get up there. But first, there's a chest here. Loot, loot, loot. Okay. Armor shoulder piece, I think it was. Nope, that was. Okay, that's. Let's see. 72 compared to 71. Okay, that. We can miss out on one bit, one point of defense. Yeah, well, put your little intel content for that. Mm. Uh, doesn't look like it that we got a new parody. Alright, that's all for this problem. Where can we use that portal to go to? Okay. Um, there's a, okay. Do you have to take yourself? Not much. <laughs> okay, how would we even get to that there? What is even oh, the point of getting I will go and get I got that trebuchet. I hope you're fine. Don't death with a trebuchet. Yeah, it would be quite literally death from above if we landed on someone. <laughs> uh, there is where we go. Okay. A yeah, big tip in these types of games look their frick around first before you start heading one way. But the very least, we're out of this room. Just real or something. Hmm? If, Lil if Lilith is the truly the Nepalem's mother, yeah. Is this the situation when Lit can go deaf? Is he your new father, Samael? Yeah, uh, I find it a bit doubtful since, well, they are half demon, half angel, and uh, Lilith doesn't look like an angel to me. Yeah. As I said, new father. Yeah. Now do you get the oak? So, the Chad Cow 
castle sends only one horseman, even to the past. No, this visit is unsanctioned. In fact, no one knows you're here. Not a soul. Hand over the key, it could be our little secret. Samael is the world boss here. So we are going to fight him. Yep. Okay. Did we get this far? Oh. What are you going to do? Yep. Yeah, okay, he's just going to. <laughs> he's just going to brag on his <laughs> throne and throw fireballs at us like freaking Dracula. I was going to say miss, but then he got me on the second. Okay, so he does a few quick swipes and then a big one, which leaves him vulnerable. And yeah, that oh. one, two, and yep, yep, one, two. Oh, he's already back there. Might as well. No, not that. The... Okay, that's a bunch of them. <laughs> and shooting him there doesn't even help anything. One, two. One, two. One, two. And a big one. Give me his gold, in Weston. I don't think he needs the lessons. <laughs> he just needs lessons in applicant. <laughs> uh, not the best idea to <laughs> invite us over to your chair. Okay, did not see that one coming. Okay, you could have just said you were inviting us over. What are you up to now? Okay, I'm guessing playtime's over. No, we're back to this. We're not. Okay, now he's mixing. No, he's. Now he's just doing it short. Ow. Ooh. Wait. What are. No, he. He inflicted a status effect on us. That's where we were taking damage. Okay, yeah. He's a tricky one. Yeah! Bloody heck! Though, it does give me a theory. Mm -hmm. What if it is because of death that he got weak enough to be imprisoned later on? 
good chance of that, yeah. Also something uh, to explain why uh, Des, one of the horsemen, is so comparatively weak to what he you would expect from him. This, yeah, this is all unsanctioned by the Chart Council, so he doesn't get uh, he doesn't get the power that he usually gets from the council. I guess he does it a random amount of times then. Okay, just gotta keep an eye on his moves. Okay. Then he goes to his swag throne again. Actually, probably better for that I use Death Grip to close in on him quickly. After he does his stomp at like. Yeah, this way we can just keep backing away. And we should be safe from his attacks. So. And there we go, just immediately get back in. Okay. Pretty sure I dodged straight into that one. Go nope, immediately. Okay. I'll take the invitation to kick your ass. Nope, wrong way. This again, and this time I'm not going to screw up on the quick time event, even though it's been quite a. Actually, I don't think there's been a quick time event in the rest of the game. Oh, here comes the invitation again. If he can do that, I'm pretty sure he should just be able to block Death up and toss him up into the sky. <laughs> Good question! Yeah, then again, uh, hubris tends to be a pretty big trait with bosses like this. Yeah, and this spell maybe we just worked on uh, anything that is a bit more really okay. demonic uh, in plant and all that. Like or inanimate, something yeah. that doesn't resist. Yeah. Okay, come on, big boy. I, I dodged way too early for that one. On his throne. Oh, nope. Oh. Ow. I can't. And now we're burning as well, so we're constantly losing health. Okay. Yeah, I need to get some good hits in without getting hit. We're both close to death now. Actually, I'm going to cheat a bit. That should give us a little bit more survivability. This is probably on little.
Okay, <laughs> that got close, yeah. And I've noticed that we didn't actually defeat him, we just managed to impress him. Uh, Let's see. If you want to read this. Uh, the Demon Lord Belial. Rumors have surfaced that perhaps the Third Kingdom has not been completely destroyed and remnants of humanity still yet survive. Seek out the truth and unearth a forgotten evil. The Demon Lord Belial. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to take a look at some of these at the very least. And yeah, the Demon Key. And also another message. If, if, that's, if that's just another crucible level that we have access to, I'm going to be annoyed and... I almost missed that there's a chest down here. Did he just drop this off <laughs> after he took off? I saw something purple there. Let's take a look. Okay, but buckler of fire, strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, not of too much use. And yeah, the demon key. Now we just need to forge these two together. And then we can go to the Well of Souls. Hmm. We have 20 minutes remaining of the stream. Yeah, so we won't be finishing this in this time. But possibly in the next stream then. Are you ever going this far? I've, I've completed the story of this game before. Oh, uh, right. Actually... Mm, can I just... Actually, where... Okay, he is still there. Can I just fast travel to this point so we can get to Ostagoth without... Can, no, we cannot. Can we... Oh, we... We can fast travel to merchants. Would have been nice to find out earlier. I thought you knew. Okay, right, I'm not sure and Okay, that still put us at the this end of the airlock. So that's a bit annoying. Actually. Was there any I think I saw something over here with Lilith, like a, another door or something. Let's go take a look there. And maybe get some more information out of her as well. It's, okay, no extra door. But there is her, her hot tub. Uh, quite little. At the very least, we might get something out of these. And, oh, Book of the Dead page. No, we got something out of this, as well as a good bunch of gold. And, well, we it was already clear that Death doesn't like his mother that much. Whatever game you're playing, Lilith, it doesn't matter now. I have the key to the Well of Souls. Then redemption lies within your grasp, and the choice is yours. Will you save one, brother? Or will you save them all? What brings you to Samael's kingdom? I am drawn to raw power. And no demon in any realm can match that of Samael. He could have ruled over us all, but now he is gone. And that destiny once again falls to my children. Bring back the Nevelim. And all of creation will be yours. But at what cost? Okay, that's her plan to... Good. Hmm. Question is... The question is, though, if the Nephilim would even leave her alive, because... Yeah, they're, they are out to destroy everything. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'd turn on her just as easily as anything else. Yeah, they just wanted in the beginning to take over Eden as their new home. Yeah. But... Yeah, now they just want to tell everything to go fuck itself. Yeah, 
at least one of them wants to do that. And that one is the most powerful one and their leader. And I did see a shiny here. Okay, boatsman coin. Okay. Now where is Ostagoth? There he is in the distance. Okay. And there's this place's treasure vault. This is a place for wolves. Okay. Okay, uh, not sell, buy. Oh, yep. Only has two left. Does he have anything useful to sell? Secret damage, Reaper energy, no, Reaper energy, no. Critical chance, 18%. Does he have anything better? Let's see, execution chance. Okay, he does not. Okay, that is most of our money. I've held on to that for ages. Mm. And nothing better here. Okay. No. Where are... Let's see, which of them was it again? Not these. Let's see. Crit damage, crit on hits. Health steal, this is the one. So, upgrade. And where is it? Uh, crit damage. Crit chance, there. Okay. And yeah, that is definitely going on. Now then, actually, I have not put the health steel on it yet, I think. And not that. Wait, oh, that's... that's it has health steel. Yeah, let's... let's see. Oh, okay, don't we... Then it is... Uh, yeah, if we have... If we have health steel, then crit chance and crit damage, that means... That should mean... That it should give a lot more health on a well on a crit. So let's see. What has the most crit damage? We have 27 here. 29 there. Uh, those would be upgrades. 18, 24. It doesn't directly translate of a uh, yeah. We'll probably see it in a bit here. 29 crit damage with that. Then let's feed something to it as well. 27. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't give the same amount every time, but it does give close to it at least. And I think we should be unable to add any new attributes to this. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the, the fire, the innate fire damage is also counted as one of the. Uh, attributes for this, so the rest of this is just adding into it and upgrading. So let's see. Um, let's not do that one just yet. And let's still look for things to crit chance, crit damage. If both of those are possessed. Fire damage, also fire damage, might as well. Anything here, crit damage. More crit damage. Here we go. And yeah, we can just up. Yeah, we definitely upping that one then. And we might, since we can't add anything else, the rest we can just sacrifice to it and strengthen it. Anything else with crit damage still to add? Or, well, fire damage might as well do that. Uh, yeah, definitely again going with that. And that's, yeah, that's as high as we can get it now. Okay, this, that's, how, how much crit chance do we have now? Uh, 22%. Okay. And almost double critical damage. And um, let's use one of those and the head back. Oh dear. What was that? 
I see, I'm seriously going to be annoyed if it's just another uh, crucible level. Let's see. Gift from Volgrim. Careful what you leave behind, Ryder. If an item this powerful were to fall in the wrong hands. Okay, what is that? That looks like a possessed weapon and this the third stage of the crucible. Fletcher's Crow Hammer. The hammer of a champion from long ago, his power echoes through the ring of its dark steel. Cast during the ascension of his dark uh, of his dark arts, the tale is said that its champion took the uh, form of a crow, never to be seen again. The crow father, maybe? And uh, Okay, the strength tarot card. Shape of a crow to never see. Is it dust? Um, I, I find it a bit doubtful, but then again, we don't know much about dust. Let's see. With discipline and control comes strength, and your prowess in battle has gained you a challenge to test such attributes. More challenges have been unlocked in the uh, crucible. Hmm. I have no interest in that. Pardon? Now, if I'm right, this should allow us to uh, get into the end game, or the actual end of the game. Pardon? So, okay. just too late. I have the key, Crowfather. Then at last you may enter the Well of Souls. But once undertaken, there is no returning on this path. I've come this far, Crowfather. I'm not turning back. Then be warned, Rider of Death. A dark presence guards the well, and the seeds of corruption writhe within. The well is corrupted. Yes, but not the nameless kind who have faced thus far. No. Corruption has chosen a champion, a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished. Here and now. Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. Even death. Tree, the keys, the well. Why do I get the sense you are testing me? You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. And now you face the ultimate test. Will you bring death, or give life? Okay, I was half expecting us to send us straight into the final battle. Yeah, so, we're going for that as well. Yeah, let's put up yeah, a yeah, save same. there. And let's actually go back a bit. Uh, see if we can go back to the save uh, selection. Uh, okay, doesn't seem to be able. Um, I have never checked to see if you can actually copy save data with this, so for one final time we'll exit the desktop for a moment. Uh, put the icons back on, open the game up yet again. And yeah, since this will be the last stream of the year, I'm willing to go a bit longer for this, since we are just at the very edge of the end of this game. And yeah. well... <laughs> The next stream will be in the new year. Yeah. So I can say this is worth it since it's not or maybe a half hour or something, that's alright. Let's see. Okay, there's no copy. This so, is the tale yeah. thus far. The Lord of the Black Stone has vanished. His smile a promise. There is more to come. Will you find the strength to restore the Third Kingdom? 
Or is it your brothers who will emerge? Okay, so if something goes for... Come on, just put me back here. Not that the freaking uh, chip. Not that the freaking yeah tree. No, that is kind of good, but that gives us all the chance to turn in some more stones for more stats and what not. Now we only have three stones to hand in, and for only a small boost, I'm not. I'm not. I'd say we don't go back. And Oscar just entered the room. Okay, are you starting to sniff stuff? Ain't it usually Inky who enters your room during streams? Yeah, but uh, Oscar has taken to sleeping into a box that's way too small for him. Uh, which has led to him breaking one of the sides of it. I'll, I'll send you a photo of it after this. And now he's on the windowsill behind the screen. <laughs> oh no. Okay. For now though... Uh, let's end this. Okay, once again expecting a cinematic achievement, the root of corruption. Hmm. I'm, I don't think in most interpretations of uh, Yggdrasil or the World Tree that it's also supposed to be like, uh, yeah, where all life comes from. So this is this is a bit of a new interpretation of you know, all of that. Have you ever wondered, Death, why you are untouched, while those around you wither and rot in the grip of corruption? Could it be that you are already blackened by the sin of betrayal? How can you defeat that which seethes in your own heart? You cannot stop me without forever damning your soul! when we have only one freaking health potion. So I uh, have to be very careful. Yeah, maybe we should have, you know, said hello to other merchants to buy more potions. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if they restock well, their stock. Actually, they, they change their stock from time to time, but I'm not sure if they refill on their health potions. Probably should. If he knows, but, hmm. Yeah, if he knows, we should probably investigate that. Just in case. Or, yeah, one health potion. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Oh, hello. Oh, this is very good. This is getting annoying with these immediate attacks coming out out of a cinematic. Okay, that leaves him open for a bit. Uh, okay, that that tickles him at least. Purified. Yeah. You know, the last person to talk about purification uh, than he has just heard. Yeah, he's looking more and more like a. He's come from a <laughs> from a tentacle hentai. And there goes any possible chance at monetization, not that I monetize this the recordings of this anyways. Uh, I don't think you're gonna do more than you could say in that. Okay, we're doing well. He leaves himself open enough for us to get our health back. He's not actually that damaging. 
Oh, here we go again. Oh, you threw it, but you, you do lose yourself with your packs. He, he actually got smaller from that. And yeah, that's because... Well, we have health steal now. So we get a lot more health back from the damage that we deal. Especially if it crits. We maybe have a double of troll. Yeah, uh, very good chance looking at his health bar. And yours? This might be the first boss that we're actually kicking its ass without too much trouble. Hey, I was worried that you were underleveled. You again. You were yeah, feeling this hell. Uh, 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 Okay, so I might be getting a bit more close to the tentacle stuff than I actually anticipated. Oh, I see that one coming. I, I did not see that one coming. Here we go again. We can't lock it? No, but he does give it away quite easily when he's roaring like that. But yeah, there goes our final health potion of the game. Or at least the main story. I'm... So, yeah, 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 move, move. Come, come on. Don't you start with that side as well. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, it's if you we just need to get Do it all as way as possible. Yeah. Come on, finish this. Absalom, stop the corruption. I stand at last at the Well of Souls. We've no idea what I must do next. It is quite simple, and yet most difficult. I'm in no humor for riddles, Crowfather. You may tap the power of the Well to return the Kingdom of Man, or you may resurrect the Nephilim. But know that choosing one will forever doom the other. Oh. My 
my brother war. I would protect him above all. To return man to the earth will require a sacrifice. city for certain the council and there will be others you would wage this war alone no not alone war had broken seven seal summoning the horsemen of the apocalypse and the number of the riders shall ever be four And there we go. Dark side is no, two. No bug and no retries. Yep. <laughs> but that was probably because, yeah, lifesteal is a bit of a hard thing to balance around. <laughs> yeah, like, usually in games, yeah, that is something to balance around it, but here it's. Yeah, really wrecked. <laughs> Though I imagine it was on hold of difficulty. It, we would be require way more potions. Yeah. So that single potion was probably enough for us to win. Yeah, if, if he had hit us with that tentacle attack again, uh, we would have we would have been defeated. Yeah. Bloody heck. It, Gotta say, it is worth something that Death so readily sacrificed himself for his brother. Yeah. Shows that despite his name and despite uh, his appearance and how he acts, that he's probably the, the kindest of all four of them. Oh, oh, Look at the clock, Killian. Yeah, it only took it took less than ten minutes extra. <laughs> It's kind of fitting. Last, last stream of the year, and we finish. Reasonably on time. Like, what? Reasonably on time. Yeah. I, I was half expecting this to take another hour. And, yeah, we also we spoke about this off stream. We were expecting to either we finish it today or in two other streams. Yeah. Uh, everyone at would like to thank their friends and family for their continued support. Always nice to see. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's let the credits run, and then we can take a peek at uh, those other... Pardon? Hmm. At those other campaigns, because I get the feeling they're either... Yeah, they're, they're probably just extras where you can... Imp you continue, yeah, continue on with uh, death. Hmm. And of course there's New Game Plus, but, well, we stream for story. So there's not much reason for us to look into that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Th this game, though... In some ways I'm a bit torn on it. It's, it's storytelling is either flawed or a bit more unconventional than I'm used to. Because typically in games, things get quite a bit, uh, okay, Pope Kim. <laughs> in most games, the story gets uh, uh, very told. Uh, in this game, it, it feels like in some places there are a page or two missing. Or maybe it is that way, or maybe it's more meant that you yeah, figure things out from... Uh, yeah, from people talking and asking around with characters more. Possible, um, I would have expected that uh, it's uh, some uh, pieces uh, got torn out and why are there some names repeated? 
Uh, names on the le right side or the left side? Oh. Hmm. Uh, it must have been must have been the same voice actor doing multiple characters there. Hmm. Yeah. It's still, oh, yeah. Oh, go on. It's st still a very good game, I'd say, personally. It, uh, not entirely too sure. I, I think I've brought this up before, but I'm not entirely sure which of the two so far I'd call the better one. Here, Dark Souls 1 and 2. Um, so. I think for now I'm just going to say that both of them are good in their own ways. Yeah. But we we did a lot. We did less with the combat system, with the combos and such here. And more uh, that was a bunch of uh, button mashing with this one. But that's possibly also because the, the enemies are a lot more aggressive in this. I just swarm you. Hmm. Yeah. Um. I think the sword there was maybe a bit more flashed out in most areas, but there was some areas it felt like there was something missing, like maybe they had to cut out some uh, scenes or something, or some lines, just to make sure it doesn't get uh, dragged out too long. Yeah, or maybe we were more supposed to talk with the characters more after we were originally done with them. That too, that is also possible. Hmm. Just, and yeah, one big thing that this game definitely can be uh, bumped on the head for is just explaining less. Like it, it adds in all it ends in a lot of RPG stuff with all the stats and such, but it doesn't actually explain what all of those stats do and such. Like with the strength and arcane. Like you could think maybe you could figure out on your own eventually that strength, or well, strength and arcane is based pretty typical. That you could easily figure out that those you know, mean that the physical or the magical is more strong, is stronger. But still, to have at least a page somewhere to explain it would have been nice. I'm not just surprised if there is one, or you just missed it. There's a decent good chance for that. But still, would it be nice if they brought that up uh, at one point, at the very least? Like, we still don't really know what uh, piercing damage and such does, except for, well, providing extra damage. And we know with some of the elements, like the cold and electric and fire, that that could start a status effect on enemies. But you'd have to, yes, trigger them on enemies to see what the hell they do in the first place. And with... You are alone, Lilith. Where are my Nephilim? My prince, I... The end war is upon us. Yet instead of the army you promised me, death has returned man to the balance. I await your punishment. This time, Lilith, you will get no pleasure from it. Okay, I oh. definitely don't remember that <laughs> from uh, when I originally played this. So she was working for someone else. It couldn't have been the destroyer. But wait. Let's see. Uh, new game plus. Da -da -da. Would you like to start New Game Plus with your new character? This will override your save data to complete any remaining side quests. Choose no and return to your last save. Okay. Let's see. It can't have been the destroyer. The journey so uh, far. The Lord of the yeah, Can I skip this? There we go. Supposedly, the destroyer was the one, or was the leader of hell. But we know that. Uh, we don't that Abaddon got tricked into becoming the destroyer by someone. Could that have been uh, the same character? Or the same force? Well, say for, do you want to date it some female? So I wonder if what if it was Lilith? But okay, I'm still surprised that okay, I don't know if he just killed off Lilith or actually actually hurt her badly. 
So yeah, I presume, I presume they'd keep her alive since, well, since she managed to take over after Samuel uh, went into hiding or whatever. Or, well, no, he didn't go into hiding. He was locked up in a can. Yeah. She managed to take over after he vanished, so she must still be powerful and thus probably useful. Yeah, though you did see how she screamed in panic. Yeah. Mrs. So, Hildebrain, whenever you have Lilith in games, you the, the last thing you expect to see of her is screaming in fear. Yeah, Lilith characters typically, when they're not um, just a, a mob like in Castlevania, they tend to be schemers and, uh, yeah, boss material. So, I'm guessing maybe that... Maybe that force that she is working for is the true ruler of hell? Because Samuel could have ruled all of the demons. And... Hmm, the destroyer was put in place by someone, some force. So yeah, may I guess we'll have to wait until Darksiders 3 to s get any more possible information on that. Because I don't yeah. know when that takes place. After or during the same... If that takes place at the same time as one and two. Yeah, and like, and I was just to wonder, is it really if, even demons that are like I wonder is there a third party involved? Mm, could be. Like a, a grand mastermind behind everything, perhaps. Yeah, the, that manipulated. The oh, that sorry. Ma a grand mastermind that manipulated Abaddon, and hmm, yeah, we don't know it precisely how the corruption came to be. Like we presume it was spawned from the hatred of the Nephilim. And wait a second, the Archon opened the opened the well you know, along with someone else. Could that have been Lilith? They look like Abaddon. No. Uh, no, Abaddon Wait. wouldn't have ac access to the key. It was the Archon that had the key and Samael. And yes. Lilith said that the key was missing. Maybe she was base maybe she was lying through her teeth and that she did actually have the key somewhere or she disposed of it herself. Yeah, what I mean is when the Archon had that portal, you know, that one uh, that went to Earth. Yeah. It looked like he acted with a tap portal to allow Abaddon over to Earth. No, I think he was just looking in on the, the fight between the Destroyer and, and War. Yeah, but it was a cutscene mm. that was seeming to be a flashback of when he got corrupted, but also of when he might may, may have illegally, so to speak, let the Abaddon into Earth. Hmm. Well, apparently they're not supposed to have those. Maybe, but it couldn't have been Abaddon who was the other one who used the key, because he wasn't the destroyer then. He, he wasn't tricked into not becoming the destroyer yet. So someone, uh, someone on the demon side must have worked with, uh, with the Archon, and the best guess I have for that is Lilith. There is something going on, and I would not be so surprised if there's some eldritch horror for... If there's something demon angels usually are on ease about, it's a cosmic horror. Yeah. That's, but we'll, that's that we'll, because... Uh, what? Yeah, we'll have to wait until Darksiders 3 to get any more information on this, though. True. Do it shouldn't be too long, I guess. Yeah, we'll still have to get through all of uh, Dishonored too. So, yeah, we'll be starting the new year with... Uh, actually, no. We'll be starting the new year with Orcs Must Die, uh, then Something Sunday, and after that we'll start with the new... well, new game, Dishonored 2. Oh dear. Yeah, and I, I know pretty much nothing about Dishonored 2, so that'll be fun to just experience for the first time with the both of us. 
Oh dear. And probably fail a bunch. Yay! I get to love, love it, you dear! Well, yeah. For now, though, this has been Dark Shadows 2 Definitive Edition, and this time I didn't get a coughing fit from trying to say that name. <clears throat> and, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah. <clears throat> Have a nice New Year's, everyone, and until next time. Yeah, we'll see you then in the new year. Be well, people. Be safe and have a pleasant new year. See ya.